Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel. Ignore this lighting. You are currently sitting, you can't see it, but you're sitting on a dead potted plant in my window because my tripod's doing other things right now. Also, I have a lamp underneath of me. That's why I'm like glowing. Today, we are going to be doing another magazine look through. If you saw by the title and the thumbnail, you will know that we are going to be looking through the January 2009 catalog. It is the Chrissa Maxwell catalog. Honestly, I already filmed the look through and I'm filming the intro after I looked through it already. Y'all, it's good stuff. It is good stuff. I absolutely love doing these look throughs. I'm so excited for the rest of them. There are so many more, honestly. And soon we will be getting into looking through all of the Christmas catalogs that I have. They are massive. They are amazing though. And I'm really excited to look through those because I have so much stuff in them. But the videos are probably going to be so long. But oh well. So without further ado, let's look at the magazine. Alright, so here is the Meet Krissa Girl of the Year 2009, January 2009 magazine. I'm really excited to look through this one. I have not looked through it in so long. Honestly, any magazine from 2009. But I really liked Chris's collection, especially because this was like my peak interest of American Girl. So I'm really excited. I always have loved Carissa. I don't know. I think that was just like I said, because it was my peak in American Girl. But I think she's really cute. I think she's really unique with the Josefina mold, the dark hair and the blue eyes. I think she's really cute. Would I like her in my collection? Yes. Do I need her? No. So here's the opening spread. Over here we have the table of contents section. Meet Krista, historical girls just like you, dressed like your doll, bitty baby. Oh my gosh, James. Hi, queen. I love that they used to do this. I don't know why, I just love it. And then it says, meet our newest girl of the year. It says a little bit about Krista. And then down below, it has all of the different American girls. It says, get to know all the American girls. So it has all the historicals and then the girl of the year. Here is Krista's full spread. I really like her meet outfit. I think it's just nostalgia, but she is so cute. So again, it has the who is she, favorite sports, after school activities, pets, what changes her life, what she wants the most, and what she discovers. I really like that they used to do this. It just adds more of a personal touch and you can know more about the doll without buying her whole book. Super cute. It also has her movie right here. That's crazy that they already had the movie made before like Christmas time, before the end of the year like they are with Corinne. I feel like it's really appropriate to make the movie before the end of the year. I guess they keep the girl of the years around longer now, but it just makes more sense. And like it adds to the excitement of the doll. So here's her little outdoor stuff, I guess you could say. There's her llama, her sundress, and then her party table. Super cute, super cute little picnic table. And of course we have Gwen and Sonali. I wanted Gwen so bad as a kid and I have no idea why. I literally couldn't tell you why I wanted her so bad. I just thought she was really cute. And of course, we all know Sonali. Sonali is like one of the most expensive dolls on the market now. And this was the introduction of the Sonali mold, hence the name. So this was kind of a big deal in this like era of American Girl because it was a new face mold. And back then there was only the Addy mold, the Josefina mold, and the classic mold. So it was probably like shocking to get this new mold. I'm sure as it was when we got the, the Nea mold and the McKenna mold and the Joss mold too. It's like, oh my gosh, this is weird. So there is that spread. Super cute. I always loved this outfit too. And then we have more of her collection. We have her craft studio. I always wanted this as a kid and I don't know why. I don't sew. If you guys didn't know that about me, I don't sew. I can, but I don't know how to and I don't know how to use a sewing machine. But I always thought this was so cute. It was just like really vibey. And it was only $78. I'm sure back then we thought that that was a lot of money. But compared to now, this would be like $150. Her pajamas, super cute. And then we have her warm-up set and her swim gear. I remember this. I feel like my cousin might have had Carissa. And she had some of her collection. But I, I don't remember, honestly. But like, I feel like I remember these stickers. Maybe I'm thinking of the ones that came with the like cast set from American Girl, I don't know. And I don't know what this is, Chrissa's I Am Me for girls. Oh my gosh, what? American Girl sold an instant messenger thing? That's nuts. I was like too young for this. Like I didn't really know what I Am was until I was probably like 12. And in 2009, I was seven. So that's really cool though. That's like super cute. It was $65. Why didn't my mom get that for me? Could you only do it with people who had that specific one? 
I'm interested, I'm curious. And then we have the historical girls over here. We have those face bubbles and they got bigger if they were showing that doll. Julie Albright, love her, always will say this. I regret not getting more of Julie's collection as a kid because her historical collection, not her Be Forever collection, was like prime. That was so cute. I love all of the clothes so much. So we do have some new outfits here compared to the last magazine we looked through, the 2008 one. We have her two-in-one summer outfit. I always thought this was so cute. How is it two-in-one though? I'm confused. This was a jacket? No, I'm confused. Oh, this. Wait, this comes together? I didn't know that. I thought they were two separate outfits. That's exciting. Okay, that's new. I learned something. Then we have her roller skates. I've almost bought her roller skates so many times, but I didn't, but like, it's fine. Then we have her basketball outfit, her pajamas, her bed, and then of course, Miss Ivy. I have decided that when I get a Joss Mole doll, it's either going to be Ivy or 54. I think 54 is the one that looks like Ivy. Her hair is just longer. Regardless, they're both expensive. So, but I love Ivy. I think she's so cute. I always wanted her as a kid. I don't know why. I think it was like, I think it was something to do with this purse. I don't know why. I just really like the purse and that made me like Ivy. Next we have Molly McIntyre. We see Molly all the time now. <laughs> it just has her books over here and then her movie, of course. And then see more of Molly's collection online. So I'm assuming that there's not gonna be any more of Molly's in here. And of course I lied. So <laughs> this is new. This is like new for this time. So this is Molly's sweater and skirt. This outfit's really cute. Wait, I love those shoes. Those saddle shoes are so cute. I need a pair of saddle shoes for my dolls, but there's the dogs, Bennett and Yank. So cute, I love that. This sweater outfit's so cute. Ugh, everything was so cheap back then. So then we have Molly's pajamas and her bed. I always was so confused that when Molly's hair wasn't in braids, it was literally curly. Like, do you guys see that? When I take my Molly's hair out of the braids, it just looks frizzy and terrible. I don't know. Then we have Emily, love Emily. She's so cute. I want to get Emily really bad, but I don't need her, but I think I'm going to at some point when I'm older just to say I have her. But we have her robe and slippers, her pajamas, and then her two-piece swimsuit. I have this. I love it. It's so cute. Don't know why like 10-year-old me wanted it, but I did. I don't know, but it's really cute. And then we have Kit Kitridge here. We have her movie soundtrack and then her movie. I really want Kit's movie. I haven't watched Kit's movie in so long. So I feel like I just need to like splurge and get a bunch of American Girl movies, honestly. Of course, we're still in the historical era. We're not in B Forever. So this is like all of their original outfits and stuff. This is my favorite Kit outfit. I honestly, I don't know. I hated the B Forever revamp. I'm not trying to be negative or anything. I try to keep everything polite and respectful, but I just really think that that wasn't a good direction, but that's my opinion. That's, that's it. We have all of her books over here. I have never read any of Kit's books. I was never super into the American Girl books except for Addie's books. All right, so here we have her reporter dress and then her reporter set. I have her reporter set, again, don't know what drew me to get that as a child, but it did. And I love it, it's really, really cute. And I really like all of Kit's old outfits. I wish I had them, but I don't, unfortunately. We have Kit's play suit, very cute, love. Um, also, I thought this bed was her Be Forever bed. I like, I bought this bed. I have this bed, fun fact, if you guys didn't know that. You you wouldn't know that, why would you? But I do. Um, I thought that they switched over to this bedspread when Be Forever happened. Cause it, it was like green and blue with like pom-poms. Huh. I'm amazed right now. Okay, I thought I had the Be Forever version. I was kind of mad at that, but I have this one. Her bed is so cute. I got it off Mercari, new in box, but it was in fact not new in box and it's actually broken, but that's fine. Take every listing with a grain of salt. So here we have Ruthie Smithens, Kit's best friend. I really want Ruthie too. Again, I think that's just the collector in me because she's so cute. I love Ruthie, but she's a very hard doll to find, honestly, especially in really good condition. But I love her. I really want her. Then we have her holiday dress, her satin pajamas, and then her play outfit. I'm not super interested in any of her outfits, if I'm being honest. I kind of just want Ruthie in like her me outfit and her accessories. All right, so now we have Addie Walker and Kirsten. They just get one spread, but you can see more of their collection online. I appreciate that it says that. They just have, again, a little bit of information about the doll and then their books and the doll pricing on that. 
And then we have Kirsten, like I said. Kirsten's cute. I would never get Kirsten. I don't really know why. I don't know, but I, I do like her. I think she's a really cute doll. She just reminds me of like the good old days of American Girl. I don't know. Do you guys feel that way? Cause she was, she was one of the original three and now she's the only one that doesn't exist anymore. Next we have Felicity Merriman. Merriman? Merriman? I don't know if I'm saying that right. So we have her books and then again, the information about her. This is the era of Felicity when she has the purple and white dress. I have like felt this dress in person before because my brother's girlfriend had Felicity, but she had a pleasant company Felicity. But this dress feels like a shower curtain to me. Do you guys feel that too? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Like that's not how you'd expect it to feel. Then we have Felicity's gala gown. This is new, cute, we love. And her little baby lamb, that's cute, wait. And her movie, I think I, no, I have never seen Felicity's movie actually. I was kind of unaware that that existed. Then we have Elizabeth Cole up here. If you guys watch any of my other magazine look through videos, you will know this is Elizabeth Swan from the Pirates of the Caribbean. And then this is Felicity's pirate outfit. You guys will get it if you have watched any of my other videos. <laughs> we have Elizabeth's tea lesson gown, her holiday gown, and we also have Felicity's full. And then, that's funny, it says Felicity's full patriot, and then it just says American Girl Horse. You don't get a name. I always thought this horse was really cute though. But fun fact about me, I'm like scared of horses. They just freak me out and I don't like riding them or anything. And like, that's nothing personal against the horses. I'm just weird. And then here we have the middle page. I remember when they used to sell this, this hanging storage thing. That would be convenient, but you can literally get that at like Walmart now or Amazon. So here is the doll tote. I have this. I found this recently, actually. I found it when I was digging through some of my totes and no way you can fit two dolls in there. Mine does not fit two dolls. It barely fits the one, but I'm really excited that I found that. I don't even know where I got mine. I think my cousin might have gave it to me, but I have no memory. We have the hairbrush, the hair pick, the display stand, and then the rolling suitcase. Where did I get that? Somebody let me know. Then we have the shoes here. I have these ballerina flats. They're really, really cute. And then they're, oh my gosh, these were kitten heels. Why don't they make those anymore? That is so in right now. And then sporty sneakers and pink boots. And then we have all of the mini dolls, so cute. Why did they make a mini Ruthie, but not a mini Ivy? Or a mini Elizabeth, did they? Or am I just unaware? Then we have the doll backpack. I want that so bad. And then there's a couple pairs of glasses. The doll hair studio DVD, I have this. I don't think I have it anymore, actually, but. And then we have the wheelchair and then the feel better kit for dolls. I have both of these. My family made fun of me for getting the wheelchair for Christmas, so that was fun. And then the feel better kit I also have. I don't have the finger cast anymore. I forgot that that was a thing. I got this when I was really young though. I don't know how old I was specifically, but I was a kid and my family made fun of me. Hi, it's Editing Anne. I just wanted to say my extended family made fun of me, like my aunts and my uncles, not my parents or my brother. Actually, my brother did make fun of me, but that was out of brotherly love. And then we have the Just Like You dolls. Ah, oh, this little flip phone is so cute. You're my BFF. So we have a new outfit situation going on here. Oh my God. Sorry, I just, I, every time we get to this page, I just have to sit and look at what dolls they have. Also as a kid, I don't know if anybody else did this, but I would like look at these and I would name the dolls, even if I didn't have them. I would just give them names. Some of these dolls that I'm looking at like actually have names that I picked out as a kid, but they have the accessories here. And then all of the dolls, this doll is so pretty. What? This doll looked like my cousin when my cousin was little. There's James. This doll and this doll are really pretty and I never remember seeing them. They're so cute. There is my 23 Alex. This is number 21. She has been on my want list since I was so young. I will get her at some point. She will be in my collection. And then here is this doll that I was like just fangirling over in the last magazine look through. I love her. And this doll, I don't know what number she is, but she has the wavy blonde hair, the brown eyes and freckles, and like the line eyebrows. My friend had her. I don't remember what my friend named her, but I like in my brain, her name was Amber. Like, so that's Amber. Then we have Just Like You Four. Oh my God. Why did I never realize she was available this late? Then we have 27, which is my Dakota. This doll is really cute too. All right, now let's see the outfits and the play sets. I'm excited. Oh my God. 
Okay, I'm already about to cry. Okay, so here is the school days outfit, super cute. The coconut fun outfit, love. I feel like I could cry. This set is so cute. The jumper and boot set with James. Look at that little heel. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's so cute. And then we have the pets. We have ginger, coconut, sugar, and honey. I have sugar. I have maybe one other American Girl doll dog that was like named after a food. You know what I mean? I have pepper. And I think that's the only other one that- Oh, I do have coconut. Oops, I'm dumb. I forgot I got coconut at a thrift store. So I do have coconut. Yeah, I got sugar for Mia. That's Mia's dog. And my sugar looks terrible compared to her. <laughs> but they have the little play sets for the animals. They're so cute. I always thought honey was so cute. It reminds me of basil mentos. Let me know if you guys watch basil mentos. So we have these lovely outfits. We have the flute set, the violin set, and then the baby grand piano, and then the heart dress, springtime sundress, and the flower girl outfit. I have the violin. As a kid, I always wanted to play the violin. I never did, but I got the violin set for my dolls, so I feel like it makes up for it. These outfits are also pretty. This reminds me of a wedding dress, and this piano is so cute. Didn't American Girl make another one? I feel like they did. This one was only $80. Not that that's like not a lot of money, but compared to now, I feel like the last time they made a baby grand piano, it was like $150. Or maybe they don't even have one. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. I don't know. So then we have the little horse stuff. We have the rustic ranch outfit and then the Western hat. So you had to buy the hat separate. The Western horse and then the Western saddle set. I love that. That's really cool actually. The horse feed. Oh, I like that skirt. And then we have sport like outfits and random outfits i guess i don't know also i wonder so this is my mom's handwriting i wonder if like i was making my birthday list in this or something and that was like a code that she was gonna use online i don't know that's funny though we have the two-in-one ballerina set and book i have this we love that the gymnastics outfit it's really cute the cheer outfit this gives me major nostalgia i don't know why but that really does the gardening outfit, I also have this. The singing star outfit. I always thought this was Hannah Montana when I was younger. I was like, oh my God, they made a Hannah Montana American Girl doll? Should I get it just because I think that's what it is? And like make my inner child happy. I loved Hannah Montana as a kid. And then the volleyball outfit and book. I actually want this. I'm not going to explain why because like it's kind of a surprise that you guys probably won't find out for like another year or two, but I want that. Just so that's like in the back of your brain. And then we have like the the bedtime stuff. I don't know. So we have the nightstand and lamp set. I have this, I got this for Christmas. I feel like it was maybe in 2009, maybe 2010, I don't know. But regardless, I have it, it's really cute. Then there's the sit and relax chair, love that. The bathtub, this is so cute. I always wanted an American Girl bathtub, I still do. And then the hair care kit for dolls. I have this, but not this version. The styling center. I always wanted this too, and I don't know why. Then the curly Q daybed. I always wanted this as a kid too. It's so cute. I love daybeds. I love daybeds so much. And then the snuggly snow PJs, and then the bedding for this. Oh, this doll is so cute. Ugh. Oh, I forgot about the robe. There's a robe too. So here are the dress like your doll outfits. There is the springtime sundress, the flower girl outfit, the heart dress, kids pajamas, the snuggly snow PJs, Ruthie's pajamas, and Julie's pajamas. That's so cute. Where do I get Julie's? Sign me up. Then we have Sweet Little Bitty Baby. Again, back when they only had the five Bitty Babies. They also gave Bitty Baby a new outfit. How fun. They have her little starter set, her starter collection, and then some Bitty Baby outfits. There is the Berry, oop, the Bitty Berry outfit. I always forget like the outfit names have the word Bitty in them most of the time. <laughs> ah, this is so cute. The Bitty Baby cheerleader. Why have I feel like I've never seen that before? I love that. And then the Sweet Dream PJs, the birthday set. Oh, that's this, the birthday set, sorry. I was like, that doesn't look like a birthday outfit. <laughs> the pretty and pink dress, and then the little sweetie set. That was on the back of the last magazine we looked through. I don't have any of these outfits, so. And then we have the Bitty Baby play sets and accessories. There is the Bitty Tees gift bag, the stroller, the swing i always wanted like all of this stuff when i was really little the bitty snack set i have that her crib and then her diaper tote 
Oh my gosh, wait, no! The Bitty Twins. I always wanted the Bitty Twins when I was a kid. They are so stinking cute. I wanted these ones because they looked like my cousins. And my friend Ariana had these, these two. I don't remember their names though, but they were so cute. They're so stinking cute. I miss when they had the Bitty Twins. I'm gonna cry, this is making me so sad. I guess now they have the Welly Wishers, but like, I don't know man, the Bitty Twins were really cute. But they have their stroller and their starter collection and then you could get those outfits. It would be so cute to have twin little girls. Shut up, oh my gosh. Mm. These are so cute, okay, no. I remember looking at this so much as a kid, like it's torn, I looked at it so much. There is the Blossom Nighty and the Blossom PJs. So those two things, they look so cute. And the Sleepover Snack Pack. And then those are the PJs again. And then the Twins Chef outfit. Ugh. And the Bitty Twins Kitchen, I forgot about that. I feel like this like haunts my dreams. I see it all the time. I love it though. Ugh. Do you guys miss Bitty Twins too? All right, here is the back cover then. It's just the Hearts Dress for Girls. This beautiful doll. This is so cute. This magazine was so nostalgic, especially since I haven't looked at it in probably like six years maybe. I don't know, it's been a really long time. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are still enjoying these magazine look throughs because I know I do. They are so fun to make and I love sharing my like experiences and reactions with all of you guys because I have a lot of stories to tell if you haven't noticed. Hopefully I will be doing one of these a week, possibly. I said that in the last video and that was forever ago it seems. But the next time we look through a magazine, we are going to be looking through January 2010, where we are going to meet Lainey, the girl of the year in 2010. I'm really excited to look through that magazine. I loved Lainey's collection so much as a kid and I honestly still do. And I regret not getting more of it. I only got one thing from her collection as a kid. So stay tuned for that next time. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.